So a lot of people are too afraid to truly live their lives. A lot of people are too afraid to be themselves. On top of that, a lot of people are too afraid to stand out. The fact is you're going to die someday. You will not be on this planet forever. You have a limited amount of time to experience this life. Are you going to let the opinions of other people or the perceived opinions of other people you know, because usually whatever you're thinking, someone's thinking about you, they're not. Regardless, are you going to let those opinions stop you from fulfilling your life, fulfilling your destiny and living the life that you want to live in general? Do you want to live a free life or do you want to be bound by the expectations and the worries and the fears and the um, will of other people? Or do you want to live your life? Do you want to truly... Look back on your life when you're on your deathbed and say, yes, I became the person that I could have been. Because otherwise, you're going to be on your deathbed and think, hmm, I wonder what I could have been if I had done this. I wonder what I could have become had I chosen to stick with that. Or oh, what if I had pursued this thing, but you stopped because you were, or you never started. Because you thought people would think you were weird and you were going to lose friends and all that. Maybe you will lose friends. You just have to ask yourself one question. Are you going to let the opinions of others stop you from living your life? Because your life is only, you know, a finite period of time. And there will be a time where you look back at everything. Your entire life is one whole thing. And it's the question of, okay, am I okay with not doing this? Am I okay with living a life where I do not fulfill my potential to its highest? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. And once you finally realize this, now you will be free. Now you can do what you want. You know, now you can live a fulfilled life. Now, even though it's scary, because we all get this thing and this feeling, you know, it's a defense mechanism, you know, it keeps us safe because when you start to stand out, it can put you in a position of vulnerability. But again, it comes down to the same thing, okay? What do you want your life to surmount to? What do you want your life to amount to? What do you want to become in this life? And are you going to let these opinions that really don't matter stop you from becoming everything that you could become? Or do you want to live a limited life and die less than you could have been? That is the ultimate question. And so, yeah, we get this feeling sometimes. And we, you know, for example, let's say you want to, like it's a small thing you want to like do some push-ups in the park you're like oh yeah i'm not going to do that though because people might think i'm like weird or something like that it doesn't matter do you want to do it or not that's the question okay because are they okay is it going to benefit you who cares if they're going to think you're weird you know who cares if you lose some friends if you lose some friends doing what is truly meant for you they they weren't meant for you all right you've come here to do something i believe that everyone has a destiny and so that destiny is the one reason why you were born or that I believe my destiny is the one reason why I'm here. There's one mission that I've come here to fulfill. And so am I going to let anything stop me from fulfilling the one reason why I'm here? No, I cannot. There is not a single thing on this planet that can stop me from fulfilling my destiny because that is ultimately, when I think about it, the one reason I'm here. And so when you get to this level you become unstoppable. You can do anything you want because nothing can stop you because you will do everything it takes and you won't stop until you fulfill your destiny, until you do your thing. And so, like I said, yeah, we do feel this resistance sometimes, but it just comes down to that question. Am I going to let that stop me from fulfilling everything that I could have fulfilled? And if you can answer that question, then you can start to be like pushing the limits of your fear and start to push the limits of what you can do. And the thing is, once you do start to truly express yourself, you will live a much more peaceful life because now you're no longer resisting yourself. Okay, you will live a much more fulfilled life because now you're doing what you came here to do. And you will live a lot much more blessed. You will live a much more blessed life and you will see the blessing in your life because you will be truly enjoying the life that you have and you will truly be authentic with yourself and expressing yourself authentically. So now you will attract people in your life that can also see you for who you truly are. And they will like you and you will like them because they are who they truly are. Rather than living a fake life where, okay, now you're surrounded with the people that see you as somebody else and that's why it doesn't work out. 
because you're not being yourself and therefore how could they truly know you? So if you want to live a better life, you have to start doing what you know within you, you need to do. And the fear is the only thing that is stopping you. But truly, once you pass that barrier of fear, there is nothing to worry about. And there is only blessings. And there is only growth. Once you start to truly live the life you came here to live. So stop caring what other people think and do what you came here to do. Ask yourself that question every time when you have that thing. I want to do this, but. Okay, but what? But am I going to let that stop me? No. And you will do the thing. And you will feel much more free. Peace.